does the future hold for this exciting new technology? Got it no, out. I knew what you meant. It's <laughs> Thursday. We're almost through this week. So this technology, that student just simply had a ring on his finger and he was able to feel that banana and several other items by connecting to a robotic arm that was located in California. Well, we have learned that those technologies for that, appli the applications for that technology, that was created right here at Case. And uh, the researchers behind this say it could be a huge game changer for many industries. What could be more appropriate right now than reaching for a bottle of disinfectant wipes? That's really like touching. And then that's squeezing. Except in this case, those wipes were in Los Angeles and the hand squeezing the container is here in Cleveland. Uh, one of the students here in Cleveland was essentially moving his hand which the robot in UCLA was mimicking. Case Western's biomedical engineering professor Dustin Tyler is leading the team behind this incredible new technology. He explained it like this. We all have sensors in our fingers that carry information to our brains. The neuro reality program uses a ring to tap into those sensors to connect you to some robots and allow you to feel what the robot feels. We could actually put that hand anywhere in the world and they'll still feel it like their hand. Now, they didn't do this all just for a cross country banana gimmick. They're hoping this could change the way healthcare workers interact with patients. Let's imagine rather than the doctor having to go in and directly interact with a COVID patient, gowning up and all this other kinds of stuff and putting their health at risk. If you had a robotic system that the doctor essentially could put on. Yes, that means letting a robot examine you. But Tyler says it's time to change the way we think about robots. You're going to be working with a robot, but it's amazing to me, at least in my experience, that that robot becomes much more personal. There are also military applications that could save lives. So these roadside bombs, ex improvised uh, explosives, that's one of the most dangerous jobs in the military right now. About half the people tend to uh, unfortunately lose their lives doing this. We could take the same thing and now the person in the robot could go out and have all the same skills that they do by working on it directly, but through a robotic system, a robotic system, they may need not need to any longer go physically be there. Now, Tyler believes we have only scratched the surface of what this technology can do in the years to come. If you would like to learn more about the possibilities of this incredible technology, you can actually attend a virtual meeting where they're going to introduce this technology. That is at 11 o'clock today. We have a link so you can register for that right now on our News 5 app. Reporting live, I'm Meg Shaw on News 5. Very cool stuff. Meg, thank